Are you feeling stuck and losing motivation in your health and fitness goals? Enough is enough. When I first started lifting over 10 years ago, I was where you are. I know that motivation is the key to consistency and without it, we fall back into old negative habits and we tend to give up when progress starts to slow down. That's why I'm making this video, to give you the advice you need and everything required for you to start seeing progress again starting tomorrow. Setting clear and achievable goals is the first thing that comes to mind. Having some sort of plan. If you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. The age old saying, it could not be more true than in the health and fitness space. It's so surprising to me, the amount of people who enter the gym for the first time and have absolutely no clue what they're doing. Yes, it's true that you're starting on square one, but have some sort of basic idea, basic goal, basic metric to look forward to. That's how you immediately stay motivated and keep yourself accountable. For example, saying I want to get fit is not a plan. Saying I want to lose 10 pounds is not a plan. Everyone wants to lose 10 pounds. Everyone wants to gain muscle. You must be specific, measurable, realistic, it must be relevant towards you and set a specific time. For example, instead of saying, I want to lose 10 pounds, instead say, I want to lose 10 pounds in three months by going to the gym four times per week at the same time for one hour each workout. See, you've ticked off everything. That is what you should be doing instead. That not only keeps you accountable, but that will keep you motivated. That'll also allow you to celebrate the small wins and the small victories along the way, which in and of itself is another way for you to stay motivated. So you keep motivated and accountable by the long-term goal as well as the short-term victories, the best of both worlds. And as a beginner, one more thing, it's so important to understand that you are starting at level zero. You can't set goals that are at level 100. You have to understand like any endeavor, any activity, any job in life, it takes time to learn, to progress, and to understand the nuances in order to accelerate and compound your progress. Now that you've set yourself both short and long-term goals, now you need a way for you to track your progress. The most common method is to just step on the scale. The reason I don't recommend this as the primary tool for you to see whether or not you've gained weight or lost weight is because there are significant fluctuations when it comes to stepping on a scale. You have water fluctuations, glycogen fluctuations. Are you stepping on a scale at the same time consistently with the same clothes? Have you consumed the same amount of caffeine? Having gone to the loo, you can see there are too many metrics that will fluctuate that weight on the scale. So as a result, here are my recommendations for the right way to track your progress. First and foremost, taking weekly progress photos in all angles, on the front, on the side, and at the back. This is gonna be your key source of motivation because what better way to see progress than visually? Secondly, journal updates, weekly journal updates, or even daily if you like. How did you feel over the span of this week, today, how did you progress? What were the benefits of working out? What were the benefits of your newly found source of education, newly found source of knowledge? How did you overall see progress? What were the downsides? What did you retract on? What can you improve on? Thirdly, having some sort of way to track your workouts. It can be mentally when it comes to weight progressions, rep progressions, exercise progressions, but there also needs to be some sort of visual metric there. You can be recording your workouts from time to time to also see progressions when it comes to technique as a very solid example. You also, however, need a way for you to track progress when it comes to your diet and nutrition. This is so important. It can be in the form of a fitness app like MyFitnessPal, photos, a coach, or even like my previous recommendation, of journaling. You can separate the different categories, working out, overall how I feel on a day-to-day -day basis, and how I progressed when it came to my diet and nutrition. It can honestly be as simple as whether or not you had one less discretionary choice today, 
or over the course of the week. Whether or not you consumed one more serving size when it came to fruits, vegetables, or how you made smarter choices when it came to the drinks you drank and the food you ate. Another out of the box recommendation that you wouldn't typically hear, but has massive implications for your overall health and fitness progression is for example, are you consistently sleeping between seven and nine hours per night? Are you consistently drinking between 2.5 and four liters of water? Are you consistently showing up at the same time for your workouts? Are you consistently having the same length workouts? Are you consistently putting in the same amount of effort? Or are you just going to the gym, looking at your phone, talking to the people around you and not paying attention? Are you consistently implementing the same intensity when it comes to your nutrition, the same effort when it comes to your overall recovery? Those are some metrics for you to track over time that will also act as a form of progression. It doesn't only just come down to numbers. Another super easy way for you to reignite your passion towards your health and fitness goals is finding a workout routine that you actually enjoy. A workout plan that's suitable for you so when you wake up in the morning, you actually look forward to it. That's why generic plans don't bloody work. And that's why generic advice and generic tips don't bloody work because you need something that's relevant to you that's going to keep you accountable keep you motivated that gives you a massive drive so you're not second guessing whether or not you should partake in that activity for example boxing cycling going outside for a walk around the block going for a hike anything that you find passion in because that's what's going to keep you motivated not a generic fitness plan in a perfect world, this plan should also consist of some sort of resistance training and weightlifting. You need to also be able to put muscle on your frame so in the long term, you have a more efficient metabolism, a more efficient cardiovascular system, a more efficient muscle skeletal system, and overall, your body composition will look more athletic, leaner, more toned, and you're just gonna look better, let's be honest. I'm not saying that it's an absolute be all and end all, it is my recommendation, but anything is better than nothing. As long as you're not remaining sanitary, then you're fine. Just find something that works for you, that you're able to stick on, able to stay consistent with, that you love and you wake up and remain energetic towards, because that's how you stay motivated. Creating some sort of supportive network is also a guaranteed way for you to stay motivated. This can be your friends, your family, a fitness community, a fitness group, the gym you're at, the people you meet along the way that you can work out together, share progress with, keep each other accountable. You can even hire a coach, a personal trainer to overlook your progress, see your fitness journey, point out your wins, and overall just keep you motivated. For those people who don't have this as an option, let's say you work out from home, you aren't part of a fitness group, you aren't part of a fitness community, and you don't have a workout pal, you can instead create a private social media account with your close friends and your close family who instead are able to keep you accountable, keep you motivated through your social network. Instead of face-to-face, -face, it's over your socials, just another way for you to share your progress photos share your workout videos, share your overall progress, because I'm sure those people you love and care about are gonna be over the moon for you. Another very solid strategy is staying positive and just focusing on why you started in the first place. Reminding yourself what your why was. What was your reason? Is it because by the age of 60, you want to be the one taking care of yourself, looking after your kids, looking after your grandkids, dressing yourself, feeding yourself, wiping your own bottom? I know that was my reason. Also, just to prove to yourself that you're capable of anything. Prove to yourself that you're able to achieve anything and everything you set your mind to. That was another reason for me. Being able to inspire someone else to go down the route that you are going down now, inspiring someone else to make the same transformation you're making now, that was another reason for me. Focusing on the benefits, reminding yourself of the why, reminding yourself of where you want to be. Educating yourself and overcoming plateaus are another two strategies that go hand in hand 
for you to continue seeing progress and continue seeing motivation in your health and fitness goals. The major reason why people hit plateaus to begin with is usually because of an education barrier. You can overcome this by either hiring a coach or researching online for you to find the root cause of why you've hit this plateau to begin with. For people who want to lose weight, it usually comes down to being in a caloric deficit. For people who want to gain weight, it usually comes down to being in a caloric surplus. As well as making sure that you're having intense workouts, applying yourself in the gym, instead of just going to the gym and half assing everything. So to summarize, to overcome your current plateau, any future plateaus, continue seeing progress and therefore continue being motivated, you need to educate yourself on what it is that you are missing in order to overcome that plateau. You can either do it through one of two ways, hiring a coach or researching. That is really as simple as that. Another two quick methods that I would recommend that I've used in my early days of training back in 2014 and 15, first and foremost was visualizing my success, visualizing my progress in my own body, how I would feel with an extra five kilos of muscle, how I would feel in three to five years when I'm stepping on stage in natural bodybuilding, holding up the gold medal, holding up the trophy. And the other one was turning your overall health and fitness routine into a lifestyle, into a habit. Over time, you'll find that it becomes as second nature as going to the bathroom, sleeping and drinking water. So ladies and gentlemen, in order to stay motivated, I would highly recommend you also employ those two strategies. If you learned something from today's video, drop me a like, subscribe to the channel, comment below, and if you want to debate me down in the comment section, feel free to. I'll see you beautiful people in the next video.